Nebraska, $379,000 per patient. West Virginia, $471,000 per COVID patient. So there's a video I got on, online, and, and it's out there now. It's in a movie now. A guy was in a car accident. He rolled his SUV, and he got out. Actually, it was all smashed in. But he was conscious, and he wasn't hurt. No broken bones. He was rattled. His car rolled twice, but it landed straight up. And he called 911. And he said, I've been in an auto accident and I can't get out of my car, it's jammed, but I'm okay. They say, hold on, sir, and I, you know, we'll get somebody there. The EMS comes, the, the, the EMS comes, and as he's in the car, they say, well, your, your car's really jammed, sir. They're reaching through his broken window with an injection. And he's like, wait a minute, what are you doing? I'm fine, I'm fine, I don't know, so we need to calm you down. They give him the injection, it knocks him out, he wakes up eight hours later in a hospital. Hours they they actually airlifted him to a hospital, and he was on a ventilator. He's on a ventilator. He wakes up by the grace of God. He sees what's going on. He starts pulling it all off. He's naked, laying in a bed. He's covered in sheets, and he and there's no one around. He pulls it all out, and he walks out into the main. And he grabs a sheet. And he walks out and he goes. What am I doing on a ventilator? What's wrong with you people? Yeah. I was in a car accident. They were shocked. They couldn't believe that he's up there talking. They say, oh, sir, you, 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 you had COVID. He's like, I did not have COVID. I was in a car accident. I don't even have a broken bone. Yeah. As it turns out, he argued with them. They had to call the doctors. And finally, you know what they did? They found some clothes and they let him out the back door of the hospital. He found out he was in a completely different state and county and everything. They airlifted him. <laughs> then he found out his record. By the way, he had a, a thing, he said John Doe on his toe. And yet they had his driver's <laughs> license. <laughs> they had called his family who lived out of state and said that he was in a serious car accident and his spleen was broken and that they didn't know if he was gonna make it. Can you believe it? Yeah. They wanted his organs. <laughs> they wanted his organs. Correct. So he walks out with his cell phone right then and there and puts the whole thing on the internet. And I got it that day. I got it that afternoon. He's like, folks, you won't believe what just happened to me. You won't believe what just happened to me. Well, now it's becoming part of a movie because there's an investigative reporter from Michigan who is going to all the hospitals. Beaumont Hospital is one of them. And she's interviewing them and she's finding out. She, she's basically doing private investigation. She's getting stories of people that went in there with a broken arm and were put on ventilators, broken leg put on ventilators. I mean, just all kinds of crazy stuff. And this is what's going on. You, we cannot trust our hospitals anymore because they have been bought and paid for. They have sold their soul, okay? Now that's not to say all doctors are bad because I know that in the Amish community in Shipshawan, Indiana, and also in Pennsylvania, we now have doctors and nurses who are walking away from traditional medicine because they wouldn't take the injection and they're starting hospitals and healthcare centers. Are you guys aware of this? Awesome. This is what you need. You need to take your healthcare back. And you need to support practitioners who want to help you heal and repair and don't want to just give you prescriptions. You know, there's a time and place for prescriptions. I'm not against it. But we have to take our health care back. And, 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 and insurance is the big problem, too. Because as long as you have insurance, they're going to dictate your standard of care. You're not going to get health care. You're going to get sickness care. Okay? How much more time do we have? About 20 minutes. Are you with me, all? You still awake? Good. Okay, so remdesivir is one of the treatments. It costs between $2,300 and $3,000 per patient. And it causes kidney failure. It's an awful, awful drug. And a lot of people, a lot of people have been hurt, have been hurt by remdesivir. Um, in fact, get this, and I'm sure this wasn't on CNN or Fox News. Gilead, who makes remdesivir, had to recall 55,000 vials of the COVID-19 drug due to contamination. They found shards of glass. What do you think that does when it goes in an IV? Shards of glass. It sounds pretty crazy to me, but they had to pull 55,000 vials of remdesivir. And the brand name is Veplurine. 
okay? So it might not go under remdesivir, it might go under Vectory. Uh, the administration of an injectable product that contains glass. Here's another, another article, December 3, 